Alright guys, so we are on Lesson 11 homework video. You need to have your Lesson 11 homework out. If you're watching this video, get out your Lesson 11 homework So I'm about to give you some free answers, some easy answers. You're going to be able to get them done. We're looking at number one. It says solve using mental math. You should all be able to do these ones mentally, and these ones you should need to work out. If you want to go ahead and pause it now and do the ones that you can do mentally first, I would. Think about it. Six minus five. Hold up six fingers. Take away five. I can't tell you that answer. You know it. The ones that you work out, we will do together. You are drawing pictures. Remember, at this point in the homework, you haven't learned vertical form yet. You're only doing pictures. So when it says 26 minus 7, off to the side of your paper, really small, you're going to write your little tens and your ones chart. You're going to draw your 26. Can I take away 7 when I only have 6 ones? No. What do I need to do? I need to take away a 10, bring it on over, make 10 new ones. Now can I minus 7 ones? Yes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now am I done? I am done now. How many 10s do I have? 1. How many 1s do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. My answer is 19. Pause it here to get that one. My next one that you cannot solve mentally, you're going to have to work out is 58 minus 9. I'm going to draw my chart small on my paper. I'm going to draw my 5 tens, my 8 ones. Can I minus 9 from here? No, I don't know. I don't have enough ones. I need to take from my 10, bring it on over, add my 10 ones. Now, can I minus 9? Yes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. My answer, how many 10s do I have? 4. How many 1s do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So what's my answer? 49. Pause here to get that one written down. So on number 1, all of these you can do mentally. There's only 2 you need to work out. So pause here to get that. Now on number two, I'm going to read you the directions. Solve using your place value chart and place value diffs. That just means your little drawing that you make. Unbundle a 10 if needed. Think about which problems you can solve mentally too. If there's one on there you can solve mentally, please do it mentally. Do not draw your picture, all right? But if you need a picture, that's fine. There's a lot of them on here you're going to need a picture for. For example, 36 minus 7. Can you do that in your head? No, because if I have six fingers, how can I take away seven? So this one you'll have to draw. All right, and we're going to skip on over to the back of your paper. Go ahead and flip over. Number three says solve and explain your strategy. So you are just going to solve this. Now on, this, on these two for three, A and B, you can solve any way you want. It's your choice. You just have to explain to me what did you do. Did you do air away? Did you do it mentally? Did you draw a picture? Did you do vertical away? Whatever you did, I don't care. You just go ahead and tell me how you did it with words, okay? On number four, this one looks hard, so I'm going to show you this one. I'm going to read it out loud to you. Follow along as I read it. The number of marbles in each jar is marked on the front. Miss Clark took 37. Wow, you should really underline that. Sounds important. Miss Clark took 37 marbles out of each jar. How many marbles were left in each jar? Complete the number sentence to find out. So on our paper, we have something like this. This is A. It says 45, and then we have blank minus blank equals what? So the word problem told us we started out with the number on the jar, so we should write that down. How many did Miss Clark take away from each one? 37. We now have to find the answer. Can I do five minus seven with my ones in my head? No, I'm gonna need a picture. So somewhere on my paper, maybe even an extra sheet of paper, I'm going to draw my tens and my ones chart. I'm gonna draw what number first? My first number first, so my 45. Remember, we are subtracting now, so it gets different. Can I subtract my seven ones? No, I cannot subtract my seven ones. 
Because I only have five there, I'm gonna have to take away, pull over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now can I subtract seven ones? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Am I done? No, I still need to subtract my three that's in my 10 spot. One, two, three. Now I gotta figure out my answer. How many tens do I have left? Nothing. How many ones do I have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what's my answer? My answer is just eight. Now on C, we're gonna skip down to C, the one right below A. You have your little jar of marbles. It says 48 on it. You have your three lines. Now you know the first number is the, num is the number on the jar, so you can write it down. Miss Clark subtracted 37 from all of them, so we're gonna make 37 my second number. Can I do this one mentally? I think I can. Look at my eight. In my ones place, I have eight minus seven. Can I do eight minus seven in my head? Oh yeah, eight minus seven is one. Now looking at my tens, I have a four and a three. Can I do four minus three in my head? Oh yeah, four minus three is one. Wow, so C, I didn't even need a picture for. But maybe B and D, I might need a picture for. I'll have to look at it. Pause here to get these answers. Thank you guys, I'll see you later.